Hey guys, thanks for stopping in today to learn something new. I'm going to give you the whole like and subscribe pitch like you're supposed to do on the YouTubes. So website, edtechmrbrown.com. Please check that out. Uh, on the Facebooks, it's uh, facebook.com slash edtechmrbrown and also edtechmrbrowntx. One of those is a profile and the other one's a page. I'm on the Twitters at uh, edtechmrbrown. And we also have a YouTube channel where this video is being hosted at. So if you could go like and subscribe there as well, like the kids say, uh, I appreciate it. You have a good day. All right, guys, my quick tip for you today is going to be how you can use a program called Snap Camera to change your background or your filters and stuff like that in Google Meets. So to start with, I've got a program I installed here called Snap Camera, and it's made by the Snapchat people. Uh, you can find that and download it and install it if you're interested in trying it. Uh, I Disclaimer, this is my personal computer and not a school computer. You don't want to install any software on a school computer, of course. Uh, we're not allowed to mess with that. But if you have a personal computer and you want to try this, you can install the Snap Camera application. And you have lots of options here for different filters and things. You can see right now mine is on the space background. You can make yourself an avocado. Uh, you know, there's lots of different things here. You can be a banana. You can be a pickle. You can be a potato. And it's using your eyes and your mouth there on the object that it puts there. So if I want to be a pickle, now I'm a pickle floating in pickle juice here. So when I go to my Google Meet, that's what people are going to see on the other end instead of the normal picture of me. Uh, some tips for this. Sometimes it gets a little glitchy. If you don't launch the Snap Camera first, then it won't work. Uh, if you launch Google Meets first and then the Snap Camera, then you're never going to get it to line up. So you want to close it all out. Uh, you might even have to go down to your... Uh, little icon tray down here in the bottom and right click on the snap camera and quit it to get it to close out and open back up is something I've noticed helps all right so I've got my snap uh, snap camera going and I'm currently a pickle here so let's go over here to my Google Hangouts and see if this is gonna work camera is starting and it should hopefully be pulling from the snap camera and I should be a pickle there. Camera failed. Uh oh. So let's go to the settings. Video. See how it says Logitech. What I want to do is change that to Snap Camera. So now that I've changed that to Snap Camera, it's going to be pulling its video feed from the Snap Camera software, which is currently using my web camera. So Google Meet couldn't have access to it. So there you go. Now I'm a pickle and I can join my Google Meet and I am a pickle inside Google Meet real quick while we're here let's just look over here if I go and right click on this can I change myself to an avocado I can so I can just go right down here here to my uh, snap camera icon in my system tray and I can change it to the things that I've used recently right down there. All right, guys, so there's how to get crazy and, uh, and weird and Google Meet and turn yourself into a pickle or whatever else you want to be. Have a good day.